In this video, we will discuss a very important test question, a difficult test question based on implicit differentiation of a relation. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a very interesting question based on implicit differentiation. In calculus, implicit differentiation is a very important topic and many students struggle with it. This question is received from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how do we differentiate using implicit differentiation and find dy dx of the given function. It is also question number five of one of my workbook. The question is 2 times x square plus y square whole square equals to 25 times x square minus y square. That's a relation given to us. We need to find dy dx. Well, this is a very interesting relation whose graph will be like shown here. It is really not a function. It is a relation and kind of difficult to isolate y from this particular relation. Implicit differentiation is the perfect way of finding the derivative with respect to x for such relations. Let us see in this video how do we do it, right? Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address here. Most of my students are doing fairly well. Some are right there on the top of their class getting awards and scholarships like Akshat after attending university. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there Join our classes and excel. The question is 2 times x square plus y square whole square equals to 25 times x square minus y square. That's a relation given to us. We need to find dy dx. Well, this is a very interesting relation whose graph will be like shown here. It is really not a function. It is a relation and kind of difficult to isolate y from this particular relation. Implicit differentiation is the perfect way of finding the derivative with respect to x for such relations. Let us see in this video how do we do it, right? Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address here. Most of my students are doing fairly well. Some are right there on the top of their class getting awards and scholarships like Akshat. Now, let us see how do we solve this question. Rather, find the derivative dy dx. The question is 2 times x square plus y square whole square equals to 25 times x square minus y square. Now, if I differentiate with respect to x on both the sides, what do I get? Well, let's apply the power and chain rule, correct? So, we'll apply power and chain rule, right? So, what we get here is 2 times x square plus y square to the power of 1 times d dx of inside function, right? On the right hand side, we get 25 times derivative of x square is 2x and that of y square is 2y dy dx, correct? Okay. So, let's simplify, find the derivative of x square plus y square. So, we get 4 times x square plus y square 
times derivative of x square plus y square is 2x plus 2y dy dx that is implicit differentiation and on the right hand side if I open the bracket I get 50x minus 50y dy dx. So, I hope this step is absolutely clear. You can take a moment try to understand what we have done here and now the idea is to figure out what is dy dx. So, the term involved in dy dx I like to keep it on the left hand side and rest on the right hand side. So, on the left hand side I get 4 times x square plus y square times 2y dy dx. I am keeping this on the left hand side, right? Well, I could divide by 2 and simplify. I could do that. But let's do it later. So, we get, when I multiply, I get 4 times 2 as 8y and we have x square plus y square dy dx. And I am bringing this term on the left hand side as plus 50 y dy dx. Do you see how we are trying to simplify the expression? On the right hand side we have 50 x and I am going to take 2 x times 4 times x square plus y square also on the right hand side. So, it become minus 8 x times x square plus y square. Does make sense. So, I purposely did not simplify it so far, kept the numbers as such. So, that becomes easier for you to understand what we are trying to do. Now, here you can see we can take 8y dy dx common, right, and then simplify. But let me now divide everything by 2. So, 2 is a common factor. So, I am rewriting this as 4y x square plus y square dy dx plus 25y dy dx equals to 25x minus 4x x square plus y square. Correct? So, in dy dx, we have 4y times x square y square and 25y as common, right? And right hand side has all these terms, right? So, we will take these terms to the next page and then do it. So, on the left hand side, we have 4y times x square y square dy dx. That's my first term. Second term is plus 25y dy dx. Equals to 25x minus 4x times x square plus y square. Correct. So, we can take dy dx as common. So, you're left with 4y times x square plus y square. Let me open this bracket and write down 4y x square plus 4y q and here we have plus 25y. On the right hand side, we do have x common. I could take that and write the terms as 25 minus 4x square minus 4y square. Is that clear to you? And now we can write down dy dx as equal to ratio of x times 25 minus 4x square minus 4y square over all this, which is 4y x square plus 4y q plus 25y. You see that? 
solution is easy to understand. At the end, we could also take y as a common denominator. So, we have x into 25 minus 4x squared minus 4y squared over, we can take y common here. So, we get 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 25, correct? So, if you want to write it <coughs> in a very similar way, you can see what dy dx is, right? So, dy dx can be written as x over y. Now, here we have 25 minus 4 common, right? And within brackets, we have x square plus y square. And in the denominator, we have 25 plus, we have 4 common, x square plus y square. You get the idea. So, very similar expression is there and that becomes the derivative of this particular function. Perfect. So, I hope it is clearly understood that when we do implicit differentiation, the process involves factoring and rearrangement of the terms, which could be tricky at times. I hope with this example, the strategy is absolutely clear.